Hi, you guys. Welcome to Elena for Crafts. Welcome back. I am um, going to do a project, but I thought I'd go ahead and add this project um, with a video response for Amy's Colors Creations. I think I got that right. I will add her link in the description. So, um, I know her, um, she's having a giveaway and I will add it so you can go check out all the information and check out how much time you have to, um, if you would like to join. So let me go ahead and get started. And, um, the project, of course, when you do a video response, um, is if anybody don't know uh, what a video response is um, if you're going to join a challenge or a giveaway or maybe um, you're sharing for someone's channel um, usually it's called a video response you will put a video out there for whatever um, project or giveaway they're having so that's what I'm doing. And um, usually the video response will be with the project either already made or they're just doing a video response and they're just going to surprise the person with the project. So I am going to do the video response but also work on this project. Um, I don't know how far I will get into this. But um, I will share a little of it and then the rest she can, um, then she can, you know, at least be a little surprised, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for coming on back. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. The paper that... Um, I decided to use is um, the DCWV. This one's called Halloween Night. Um, I don't remember. I think I got this maybe two years ago or last year or the year before. I don't remember. And I got this one at Joann's. And as you can tell, a lot of it is gone. So I'm going to use up this paper. I was going to buy some Halloween paper when I was at Michael's. And um, I think I went to Joanne's one time. But I just thought to myself, you know what? I have some. Why don't I use what I have? So I'm going to go with this one here. I love the black and white and also the orange um these are the ones that i got at michael's and so that's what i'm going to use and to score it i am going to use this is the only score pelt that i have um, it's an older one this one when i first came to youtube this was wrapped to me and someone sent it to me and um she um had got a new one and so she gave me this one and i've had it ever since i love using it i use it for a lot of stuff um uh i know they have the martha stewart score um scoreboard but i love this and i love that it, how it has the little stick with it and everything um so that's what i usually use so that's what i'm going to do with that and um i did um do one already i wanted to test it out but i didn't have my paper yet because i had it um uh, packed away and so um i needed to get it out and so that's why I didn't do the whole process, but I'm going to go ahead and do this too right here. And then um, I'm just going to um, probably just cut this down in the corner, like right here across. 
So that's what I'm going to do here. I was going to do like two at a time, but I think I will do one at a time because I just don't know. Okay, so let me pull you guys back and you can see that way. So how I do mine, um, I'm not like an expert <laughs> at doing rosettes. Um, I don't really do them a lot, a lot, but I do enjoy um, creating them. So I wanted, um, I want to do the big one that um, she recommended in her video. So I'm just going to go all the way down. Let's see, where did I, okay. Making sure <laughs> my phone doesn't move all at the same time. So let me go ahead and do this, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I did the orange one, and this is how it comes out. Um, I just leave it like that until I'm ready to close them together, and then um, kind of just add your circle in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> I'm tired, as usual, and... Um, uh, you can put your circle on there once you're ready to do that. And so I did this one as well, as you can tell. And then all I do is just fold them um, like that all the way until I'm ready. And so after that's all done, then it will come out like this. And then all you do is glue it. Once you fold them, you just go like this. Fold them. Oops. <laughs> and then you just either connect them, or unless you make them long, and then they will make the circle and just add your glue there. And then it will just be like this, and then you just put it down. I just flatten it down and then add the circle. And, um, yeah, that's how I'm uh, doing it. And so um, I'm going to also um, fold this one so I can have it with this one. So I'll be back. Another thing that I will add is... You want to make them smaller. You don't have to do it like you don't have to score a smaller piece of paper um, all over again. Um, all you have to do is just cut it a little smaller and that will make your rosette um, a lot smaller. Um, I just thought I add that in case if um, anybody's new of... Um, creating rosettes is that you can cut it a little smaller if you want to layer them and if you want to just keep it this size then you don't have to do that you just go ahead and keep it that size okay you guys so i am doing the orange one now and when you're doing these rosettes you got to have these silicone fingers here covers. These are for so you don't burn your fingers. Um, I finally had to get me some after a couple years of burning my finger. Didn't even know they had these. So I actually got these ones at, um, at Joann's. They come in a pack. So these come in handy. <laughs> When you're doing stuff like this, so you're not like burning your fingers because we all tend to do that, right? Okay, you guys. So I want to show you um, what I used. 
Um, let's see if I can grab this. So I love how this looks. It's kind of like a different, I don't know how to put it, but kind of like a matte uh, metal look or something like that. And I picked this up um, at Daiso. They had these in different colors. And I just really loved this color. And I thought that it would go great if I cut a piece and add it on my um, rosette. So that's what I did. And as you can see, I trimmed a little bit in the middle because it is going to go flat. But I thought whatever I put in the middle, it's going to look nice on the outside. And then I grabbed some of um, this ribbon that I got last year when Michaels put these all in grab bags. So I brought those out. And I'm going all the way. I'm almost done on the edge. And I thought that would just bring it out more. And then um, with my Cricut last night, I cut out some things. I have, I think, one cartridge. And it's all Halloween um, different things it has on there. And so I cut out some ghost on there, um, some uh, fences. I love that fence. It cuts out like two different kinds of fences. And um, also, if you want to make like a card with the fence, you can do that too. I just have just the regular Cricut expression, nothing with the computer, nothing like that. And I padded over 10 years, you guys, 10 years. And then I cut out a couple of these that say spooky and some hats and different things like that. Just so I can have um, options what I want to use on there. So I also um, cut those out and I have some stickers I have some of these that I got from Dollar Tree and also uh, let me go ahead and grab that. I have this one that I picked out at um, Dollar Tree and then these from um, Target. I think I might use one of those and here's another one. And um, the book that I picked out. So I have a couple of options of what I can use. Um, I just don't know what. But for right now, this is what I'm doing. So that's about it that I'm going to share for now. I do want her to be surprised. So thank you. Thank you so much for um, sticking around and watching this video. I hope um, you got some ideas or tips of what you can do. So this is, um, I'm going to finish this up and start working on it. So I think the most thing that you have to do is once you um, score your paper and put your rosette together once you got it all together then the fun time happens where you get to decorate and put it the way you want and stuff like that so I think that's awesome so um, anyways I will um, finish this up and um, you will see it on her channel once she receives this so okay thank you so much and thank you amy for having this giveaway um i don't do a lot of giveaways but i do like to participate when i can and especially um if i know that you know i can do the project a best of my ability um it all depends you know what kind of project um they want you to create and i thought the rosette was like 
like, oh, you know what? I would like to make one. And so especially Halloween, I don't do too much um, decor, but I do craft um, Halloween. So I wanted to go ahead and create this for you. So I hope you enjoy it once you receive it. And thank you so much for everybody um, sticking around and have a great, great day or evening. And uh, make sure you go check out her channel. Let her know I sent you and, um, and join in on the fun. Just check the rules to see if you still have time for that. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, you guys.